Pollination, mainly carried out by bees, is fundamental for humans and crucial for maintaining the ecosystem's biodiversity. It is essential for agriculture, pharmacology and society's economy. In Europe, 84% of food production depends on pollination. We also have a strong cultural connection to them, with a relation of thousands of years. Bees face diverse challenges due to anthropogenic pressures that hinder their health, such as pests, climate change, resource availability, pollution and intoxication from plant protection products. The risks from pesticides used in agriculture have been researched and recognised in the last couple of decades. However, other products such as those used in animal husbandry also present a high risk for bees and should require real consideration. After years of observing high bee mortality rates in areas far from agricultural activities but in the vicinity of livestock farms in several regions of France, beekeepers became suspicious. Their claims led the UNAF, the National Union of French Apiculture, to begin a study on the probable cause of mortality of the bee colonies. The report was made in collaboration with the French Federation of Professional Beekeepers FFAP, and Bee Life European Beekeeping Coordination an NGO for the protection of pollinators. The report confirms that veterinary antiparasitics used for livestock and biocides applied in these farms pose significant threats to bees. On the one hand, cattle treated with antiparasitics can fecally excrete residues or non-metabolized substances in the pasture. Therefore, dung or contaminated puddles can directly contaminate foraging honeybees which prefer dirty over pure water. These contaminated excreta can also contaminate other areas by drying out. Insecticidal dust can then be deposited on the flower foraged by bees. On the other hand, biocidal products used for veterinary hygiene can also affect bees through several pathways. Used as larvicide for manure and slurry, also used as a vector control during an epizootic disease, their widespread use can threaten bees and the environment. Following these findings, Bee Life and its members, especially UNAF and FFAP, are asking public authorities to seriously consider the risks these products pose to bees. The first step is to recognise its dangers and expand research on the subject. European authorities continue to improve their engagement to protect bees and pollinators in general. In line with their commitment, we propose the following measures to limit the risks from biocides used in livestock farming. Risk Assessment the toxicity that these products have on pollinators must be included in the risk assessment prior to marketing authorizations. Research. Further research on these products must be supported. Legislation. Revision of Directive 200075EC, which imposes systematic treatments on livestock farms insofar as they have proved ineffective and pose an ecotoxic risk to non-target organisms. Awareness. Authorities should raise awareness to the issue, ensuring the public's understanding of the environmental risks at hand. This is an environmental and public health issue, so the public is entitled to be informed. Providing further information to veterinary doctors on the environmental challenges that accompany these products. Alternatives. As a response to the environmental challenge that these products create, alternatives should be further supported. Significant advances have been done in crop management and it could also be the case for animal husbandry. A new opportunity arises from identifying the risks that biocides used in livestock farming pose to bees. It opens the possibility to tackle ongoing environmental problems and change unsustainable practices. This is an invitation to continue working towards the necessary protection of bees. For more information, visit the link in the description and read the full report on pesticides in livestock farming and bees.